Entrepreneurship doesn't mean that you need to be like a despite or be like Richard Branson before you, you see yourself as an entrepreneur. You can start small. If I'm on a panel, an interview panel, and you come, and I ask you, what have you done with your life? He said, I'm waiting for the right opportunity. I'll let you go. I'll just close my file and say, next. Entrepreneurship doesn't mean that you need to be like a despite or be like Richard Branson before you, you see yourself as an entrepreneur. You can start small. There's a gentleman that provides us with orange juice in Accra. He goes to office to office. He starts from 7 a.m. By 10 a.m., he's done. He supplies about five banks. He produces this juice in his garage. And you know what he does? He has one simple machine, a juicer. He buys pineapple, he buys orange, he buys ginger. He knows that most bankers don't have the time going to look for meat pie and the juice, etc. No. So he identified the need. Every morning, when I get to my office and I don't see it, Ah, can you get me the juice? It started as five cities. Now it's 25 Ghana cities per bottle. I buy it without realizing that I have bought the juice for 25 Ghana cities. That is entrepreneurship. And you don't need to have a master's degree. You don't need to be out of school to start that. If you Google his name, it comes up as a um, juicy guy. From bank to bank. We did a program and I've bought him a van. That has a cooler at the back. Today, he's graduated from uh, ice chest to a van. So you don't need to make it fanciful to call it entrepreneurship. And if you don't know that reason, by now. I think you need to get onto the next bus to Accra or UDS. Thank you. Brought to you by Africa School of Entrepreneurship and supported by GCB Bank, your bank for life.